Hey guys, still here and welcome back to the 1892 campaign, I suppose you should say. It's episode 7 and I'm starting this one off with a pretty big encounter. We have a clash of fleets in the western Mediterranean between our own fleet and the French. Now, sometimes the French get your points, sometimes you get your points. I'm not sure how the victory point system works at the moment. There is a bug, I just don't really know how to predict it. So we're just going to have to take this encounter since I cannot really run away from it. They have the Provence as one of their main ships, and that's one of their five battleships who so blow this thing out of the water, and they only got four of their capital ships left if they are not counting their 25 heavy cruisers. So we might be able to deal a blow there as well, because they've got the Chanzy and the Juliette Michelet here as well. Um, against my heavy cruisers, these guys are going to mostly focus on taking fire as much as they can, while my torpedo boats are going on the offensive. That is all the Polyp class. The Möwe class are the ones that are going to take down these guys. So, we have our work cut out for us. Let's see if we can find the enemy already and take some of these down. Because I need to reduce the numbers urgently. As we really do not have that many ships, or at least that much of the economy, left. Oh, the T-11 was not fixed in time. Okay, I'm going to detach you then and have you turn away from this fight like to use ships that are actually combat capable. Oh, the Polyp T-10 as well. You can still get up to best speed, that's fine. Uh, who is leading this and why are you not going in a straight line? Okay, let's do it. Where's the enemy? Show me a battleship. Clear weather, calm wind, calm waves. I probably couldn't have asked for a better... What the fuck? Fight. What are you doing? Where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> ah. There's the prize. Torpedoes denied. Split. Oh, this is turning into a clusterfuck again. Why are you so slow? Ow. Ah. And here is the rest. Okay, this is your ideal situation. I designed the Moe class to deal with enemy torpedo boats. They got a really wide ship with a bunch of 2-inch guns and they are perfectly capable of eliminating enemy light ships, enemy torpedo boats, even light cruisers if given the chance, very quickly. So that's their objective, that's what they were set out to do. And meanwhile the polyps are going to head over to the battleship and knock out that most dangerous ship, at least to me. So I can have my cruisers operate a bunch more safely. I'm not sure what is going on with these ships, but I really would like them to actually just work as intended. Here we go. T-15. Charge the target. There you go. This is a torpedo boat that's already taken a lot of damage as the T-3, Moe T-3, has damaged its engine. Put it on fire and even started a flooding. In the meanwhile, the T-15, which is capable of doing 32 knots, still rushes the target. And I mean, they're all targets, but this is my main objective, the Provence. They're not very well designed, I'd say. That few bulkheads on a battleship is begging for trouble. It's something that I would never do. I have used ships like that, but that was only if I inherited them. Like, only when I did not build them myself. Uh, you got your work cut out for you here. The Provence is probably fairly agile. Oh! And throws torpedoes back in your face as well. That's not very kind. Torpedo away. Where's my torpedo then? Oh, huh. I guess I have the how? I guess I have the same speed as the torpedo. That would explain it. The T fifty two is almost down. The T forty six is still out there. There's another torp. That's the thing. I think the T fifteen will not be able to survive this encounter. So be it. So be it. This is why you generally don't have these things engaged solo. 
They just don't do as well. From a launch, the Provence is being forced to turn, but seemingly not doing it fast enough. So there she goes. She will take a torpedo. The avoid system off. Torpedo. Oh, shit. <laughs> There's the starboard launchers from the Provence, which, of course, I had completely forgotten about. You have been doing a fantastic job here with 1,100 damage. You do seem to have some flooding issues, but otherwise fine. These fucking things are so annoying to work with. Like, this thing is stuck. And it's not the first time it's happened. And I just don't know why they do it. I cannot come up with any explanation. I'm not sure how you're alive either. You took... Oh, you took a torpedo. The other torpedo didn't even get you. Okay, that's good work. But it's so annoying when... Here... This thing is supposed to do 30 knots. It's finally spinning up. But the rest of these... Well, their engine efficiency is probably terrible. But they take either all the time in the world to speed up. Or they don't move at all. I really dislike that. Uh-oh. Magic turning circle. Dodge it like a pro. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is how we do it. <laughs> yeah, that fit. <laughs> yeah, Courcois. Swearing in all sorts of colorful words. <laughs> about why the T-15 didn't just flat out sink. I mean, I've done it a lot where ships just survive on 1% buoyancy. Like, they don't care that they have been so badly damaged. Uh, there's another one of the Moe. You can... You might be able to go after a cruiser if you want to. You're a bit... A bit damaged. You're a bit easy target. Let's have the Tiger go after one of their cruisers. Now, do you want to make something happen here? Because we can probably easily do that. That set of torpedoes which did not hit the T-15 could still pose a problem. Torpedoes. Hello. Seriously, I had this thing set as a target and I had it set to safe. So it was tracking. The torpedo launchers were oriented or should have been oriented at the target. Torpedo away from the 18. Don't care about collisions. I ought to take it out. Let's go there. Torpedo launched at the battleship. Yeah, in that case, we're definitely not going to need your torps, but I'm a little late with that assessment. How are you alive? Even their second torpedo launcher, the one towards the bow, is still functional. I mean, the whole thing is basically underwater. There you go, that's your battleship done. Another torpedo into it for good measure. Sorry, two torpedoes. No. Wow. It was eventually the T-10 that took the hit. From, I think, the T-54. With torpedoes of a range of 900 meters, but they run... I don't know, indefinitely, it seems. Which is weird. At any rate... The main objective has been achieved. The enemy battleship has been destroyed. And that means that I can now focus my attention on the survivors. Like the Le Mont Piquet and the T-54, which is still loading. If you want to, you can torpedo that. Slow down. Jean Z is taking some damage. Got the Shanzi. Oh, the Tiger is almost in range. That's excellent. You need to start disengaging because you're taking too much damage. You need to turn. Hello. Thank you. Look at this. Turn? No. Only if I overrule the ship will it start turning. 
What the fuck? We need to execute this captain for insubordination. Tiger! Games sometimes it's just two steps forward and three steps back. It's so annoying. Tiger, eliminate that target. Neither of them have torpedoes. So I can very, very safely close the distance and eliminate it. You should be able to take that. You can take this, definitely. It's what you were designed to do. Torpedo away from the T6. Impacts the champs Which causes a lot of flooding. A lot of fire. A lot of general mayhem on that ship. Tiger launched against the Jules. I'm hearing torpedo impacts. Oh shit, that's the T-54. I was not aware that you had reloaded. The objective has been completed. The other heavy cruiser has also been hit and is destroyed. You're going to go for that light cruiser and over here... Well, we might be able to do something with a torpedo launcher when it's reloaded. You are still alive? 3,200 damage? Huh. That's interesting. Didn't think it could take that much damage and survive. That's surprising. Shanzi zi seems to be in a lot of trouble. Half the ship's flooded. The rest of the ship is on fire. Because it's only a matter of time. Why are you out here? Why are you doing seven knots? Okay. Next Frenchie. Or last Frenchie, in fact. Le Mot Piquet. Uh, 20 knots, which means that she's as fast as my heavy cruiser if it's not flooding. And the torpedo boats and light cruisers can aid in the destruction of that ship. Lister now can assist. You cannot really assist. <laughs> If you survive, that'd be good enough. 1% is still dry on this ship. Most of the bows are flooded. The rest seems fine, but I don't think we'll be seeing this thing anytime soon. It's going to take me a long time to fix that thing back up. That's fine. I have time. Le Mot Piquet. 87% buoyancy. She's already getting overpenned. Boom. Rudder damaged. Flooding. Slow down. 18 knots. Yeah, we got this one. But with these battles, sometimes it feels like I have two enemies. The one is the enemy fleet. Just flat out enemy guns fighting me. The other one is my the AI on my own ships. Or the lack of AI on my own ships. Like, ships getting stuck, ships not moving at all, and I'm not looking at the T-15 in particular. Um, ships trying to potentially avoid a collision that's not actually going to happen, and thus getting stuck. Formations going haywire. I get it, it's a beta, I know. I've said it myself quite a few times, but stuff like that. Ugh. It could have been such a better... Well, it could be, not could have been, because they're still working on it. It could be such a better game than this. 25% chance to hit. It's pretty good for this era. Still, I really need to research rangefinding. Or control station, as they call it. Because then your accuracy generally starts at a better level. H-E-H-E, -E, please. So that not everything gets blocked. Don't torp. Regan's coming to a nice broadside position there. Going with AP even on the three inches. What? 
Mr. the Panda Bow? Huh. Didn't imagine they would. Now, normally I would throw out a torpedo, considering my torpedo is faster and the ship is definitely going to stay inside of range. But in this case, I don't really want to have her change direction, because that would throw off the aim as well as the pen chance of the brigands. So I'm just going to give chase. Just going to give my ship some time to deal damage. And yeah, some of these got pretty badly hit. But they're not dead. Although some of them, for all intents and purposes, should be. Considering the level of damage that they took. Have you been shot at by now? <laughs> You've been shot at a lot. Damage to the main gun. Your rudder's still in shambles. Now we're going to launch the torpedo. With a damaged rudder and a hole full of water, you're not likely to turn out of the way of a torpedo quickly. They've detected it, but they don't do anything about it. And there you go. Come alongside. Prepare to be boarded. No? Okay, prepare to sink. Oh, they too got the magical 1%, but they didn't account for another torpedo hit. Wow, they did account for another torpedo hit, actually. There she goes. Now, I really, really, really hope that I get the victory points for this one, because this was a good fight, and I really want the victory points. 3,393. I was at about 6.5k, I think. Please give me those victory points. Yes. 10,000 against the French. Finally. What do we got here? Ah. Vittoria and Raimondo Montecuccoli. Uh, sorry, Montecuccoli. Against a fleet of my torpedo boats. Yes. Let's do it. Let's get rid of this heavy cruiser and light cruiser. They are to the southwest. I swear the game is just doing this to have fun with how the formation system doesn't work. Split. Are you at least one div? You are? Wow. Okay. Turn, turn, turn. Find the enemy. It's a heavy cruiser and a light cruiser, and they are fair game. Hello. Thank you. Trabant. Couple of light guns. Although I have found them to be actually quite useful against the heavy cruiser. Surprisingly so. Because these heavy cruisers are just not that heavily armored. Oh god. What are you doing? Southwest. Yeah, that's where we're going. What the fuck? Spot at the enemy. I don't believe I have been detected yet. Vision, uh, collision avoid off. Get a move on. Good man. Okay. We have not yet been detected. So for now, I can close the distance. Ah, oh, there we go. I could close the distance without really worrying about it. None of you get to launch torpedoes yet. And there's the light cruiser. These are Italian ships. Let's see. It's heading that way. Turn to port. If the Trabant could be a distraction, that'd be great. But I think that the Vittoria might not actually fall for that. And I think the AI also calculates to some extent whether it's even useful to try and go for a target, because if you cannot even hit it, then it's probably not that not that nice to start shooting at it. Hold on, this crew's only trained. That's interesting. I gotta keep in mind the light cruiser has torpedoes. The heavy does not. And you got penned by the torpedo boat. <laughs> oh, these things are amusing. All things you get penned by a torpedo boat. By a two inch gun. Torpedo away. Vittoria's turning. You're gonna have to pick. What torpedo do you want to get hit by? 
Both torpedoes away from the four. Her rudder is still shifting the other way. Like a pack of wolves, they devour the Vittoria with three torpedoes. Beautiful strike. I say so myself. That came at 70 points of damage. I'm willing to accept that. Okay. Now let's clean up the Raimundo. Raimondo, sorry, not Raimundo. Raimondo. And make sure that the Italians are short another light cruiser. Turn, please. You two, turn, please. I'm gonna get you involved, and you involved, and you involved. There were more of you, yes? Yes, there are more of you, but they're doing something else. I'm not sure what they're doing. They're doing something else. This is half my fleet. I cannot have half my fleet camping out and doing something different. I need to be careful with this ship. You need to be just staying at range. Dealing all sorts of damage. That's what I designed you to do. You need to do the same thing, but from a slightly shorter distance. So long as you don't get torpedoed. Pen, partial pen. Range is a kilometer. Is she going to try and torpedo anything or not? For now, not so much. She too is getting picked apart from every which way. I almost have her surrounded with my own fleet. 48% buoyancy, 40%. 43% buoyancy holding. I think they have absolutely no idea where to go or what to do. If I had a cruiser like this, I'd probably charge the light cruiser to just get as much damage done as possible. And then have every other gun firing at torpedo boats. Because beyond that... I don't think you can do much with this ship currently. You cannot get any work done. There's just too many of the Austro-Hungarian fleet. There's too many targets. Too many guns firing back at you. And trying to eliminate a torpedo boat is actually pretty difficult. Because they are so small and maneuverable. So your chance to hit something is very poor. She's down to 8% buoyancy, 7, 6, let's not get too close now, 4%, there we go, ship done, good, very good. I'm hoping that this is also going to remove threats to my shipping lanes, to my just extremely crippled transport fleet, because I have 5%. Like, I shit you not, I have 5%. And uh, even reducing this slider so I don't build any transports is going to have me at a negative 7.5 million. So I guess research... Research is not going to be that important for me right now. Let's focus everything on engines. And the fleet, battleships, 7 months? 4 months. Okay, good. Moving on. My Moe T4 against the Guedon. Success. Okay. Withdraw. The Moe T4 against the Carquois T51. These battles are also pretty common. I don't always show them. But they are pretty interesting. Because it is such a small scale fight. And you're fighting at such close range that it's always quite, quite dangerous. And these fights, especially one-on-one -on -one torpedo boat fights, could not be done by a better torpedo boat design than the T4. The one that I have in my fleet, anyway. Because all these two-inch guns are going to tear that ship apart very quickly. Well, I've been spotted and... Oh, phew, you're close. Slow down. Because it's going to torpedo you. Right about now. There it is. My turps also away. P 
Speed of Juicing. Neither party's gonna hit. But that ship has kind of overplayed its hand now. What sort of conditions are we looking at? Minus 30%? <laughs> oh. Storms. We're fighting inside of a storm. Okay. Anyway, their armament, aside from torpedoes, is two 4-inch guns. Against what I can probably bring to bear, which is five... Make that six 2-inch guns per side. So... It's two 4-inch guns against six 2-inch guns. And that just means that I'm going to pepper their decks with as much high explosive as possible. And make sure that they really suffer. I want to flood them. I want to make sure that they get uh, fires, that their engines go out. But our accuracy is questionable. This is your target. Hello. There you go. Got to keep their, an eye on their torpedoes. Mine will reload faster. Oh, it's because it's a trained crew. The torpedo launcher is going to take 300 seconds and mine 240. So I got a whole 60 seconds or a minute on them in reload. They're doing very poorly. Flooding. Ah, I was just about to say they haven't done any damage, but they have. 72 points. Pen. Done. Okay, that's another one of their torpedo boats done. But probably by the time that I click OK or exit, they have already built a new one. Because the AI seems to go absolutely nuts with building more torpedo boats. Finally, 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 I have not lost a torpedo or a transport. Probably because I don't have any left. But they do. The Kaiser Karl VI and the Lustenau are going to do something about it. Because those nine transports from the Italians, they need to go down. So, where are you guys? Are you coming my way? That is very considerate. Very considerate indeed. This is going to make it a lot easier. <laughs> Three inch guns, just have fun. We got all of them spotted immediately as well. So yeah, this is pretty much done for the Italians. They really have nowhere to go and their ships are probably not going to arrive anywhere near in time. I want to be in right through this um, squadron and out by the time that those escorts get here. And if they do show up, I'll take those down as well. One down. Let's not use the torpedoes if I don't absolutely have to. Because then I can use those for the escorts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, check. I think the heavy cruisers might even be deadlier to these transports than the light cruisers. Because the three inch guns hit quite a bit harder, it seems. Slow you down, boost your accuracy. You're gonna have to give a little bit of chase. Wow, something is shooting back. Oh, these guys are all armed with four inch guns. Okay. So that's a little inconsiderate. Don't ram me. I will torp your ass if I have to. There. That's one way to get rid of a heavy cruiser that's trying to come after you. Just ram it. Although I have seen the AI also, during their convoy raids, ram my transports, even if they're already sinking. And take substantial amounts of damage from it. Aradam, going down. Don't ram me. Ooh, incoming shells. She's probably done. Yep. Vettor Passi... I'm sorry, Vettor Pisani. Over here we got... Lampo, already heavily damaged. So the escorts have arrived. 
But if I maintain a speed with the convoy, so let's say going that way, I should be able to take them down and egress from the area before they become too much of a threat. I really want my battleships to start getting into the Adriatic as well as the Eastern Mediterranean. I need my power projection to go up. With eight battleships coming off the docks at the same time, it's going to be a lot of power projection that I suddenly have. Definitely enough to break the Italian blockade very quickly. Whatever. No, we're so close. Three inch guns and a little bit of patience ought to do it. The Onis is going to get killed off by the Lister now. Okay. So that's done. One thing I would very much like to know is how many transports the other navies have left. And that's something that I don't know how to check. Because yes, you can see what sort of funding they have. But not really how much they're getting, I think. Once the ship is down, we're going to have a look at that. That is, if I can disengage, yes. Thank you. 844 victory points for free. And a pretty hefty blow to the Italian transport fleet. Okay, finances then. Uh, sorry, politics. The Austro-Hungarian... <laughs> We're at a growth of minus 3%. Thank you. That's due to not having any transports. My naval budget is 10 million. But it doesn't say how much I'm actually spending. Which um, is pretty bad. My monthly balance. As for the rest. The British growth is pretty insane. Same for the French. Which is even worse at 11%. And then the Italians have 10.5%. Sorry, 10%. My ally is not doing that well. With 2%. 121 active ships. You're building another 40? Okay. Yeah, this campaign might still have some life left. Um, let's see. Three months now? Three months. Okay, so hopefully next episode we'll have battleships. Finally. And we'll make those things work. And we'll make the enemy hurt. See you guys then.